We finished off part two of this line around this area at the Royal George where the tunnel went under here. This tunnel was 140 yards long so I'm going to go down over the other side and we'll see, I'll try and pace it out and see where it might have come out. I don't know that I can find the remains of it or not, it's probably been built over but we can but try. Just passing the Royal George now. And it would have been somewhere in that direction over there. I'm just in the Royal George car park now. I'm wondering whether the line is at the back of these trees. I don't see any being any way through here. No path or anything. There is a gate I can go through though. We'll see what... That looks like a walk. Yep. Looks very much like this could have been the track of the, the line here. It's probably been built up. Definitely been built up. <laughs> But remember there was a tunnel so it would have come out somewhere down near the bottom of this I would imagine. We want to try and see our third station today if we get that far. I'm not a hundred percent sure but I would imagine that the portal would have been somewhere around this area. That's a good 140 yards I would say and it's pasted out it looks about right we're on a level bedding now so I'm assuming this would have been the level of the track we'll follow it as far as we physically can who knows where it turns out we'll have to just wait and see won't we if I'd have been smart I'd have brought my bike for these long stretches. Mind you it's not easy to hold a camera and ride a bike at the same time. So we'll just keep to the old bond as we always have done. This post tells us we've come from Friesland and we're heading to Mosley and at this intersection here where there's some steps down over that side you can go to Manchester Road, if you go the other way, up the steps, you go up to Huddersfield Road. But we're not, we're going to head on towards Mosley and uh, Micklehurst, which is the, the next station on the line. This, this is also still standing, so we've, we've walked past three stations, or we will have done when we get there, and they're all still standing, which is... Uh, Marvellous testament to the people who built them. You can see I've still got quite a long way to go along this, this little stretch here. All for a bike. <laughs> Forming its own natural little tunnel down there, isn't it? The trees. It's not a bad day, it's, um, it's fine, it's not raining and it's warm. In fact I'm going to take my jacket off in a minute, I'm too hot so I'm going to have to carry it. So we'll carry on and we'll see what we come up against further down the line. It's starting a, a steady decline down here, I can feel it's going downhill. I've just noticed this over here which Things like this always make me wonder why were these bricks here? This is what they call the Manchester Road loop, part of the loop I should say. Uh, maybe it was like a loading bay or something for some industry in the old days. I remember this has been closed since 1966 this line, so it's been here for quite a while. We carry on. There's always remnants of railway somewhere if you, if you look closely enough. There's three sleepers being used 
over a little a little pond, not a pond, a stream actually. We're still going downhill and it re reminds me actually of the the gradient that uh, goes down from Upper Mill down into Greenfield. So we're dropping all the time here. I'm sure it's going to level out eventually. This part of the route has a, a path going off down to the side here and if I remember correctly that goes down to Roach's Lock which is the canal at the bottom of the uh, valley there. So we're carrying on up here on the route of the railway line which runs now parallel with the canal and we're still in a steady descent I'm just coming off the main path for a minute trying to give you a location oh I can't see the thing <laughs> okay forget it that's the line there, I've just deviated a little bit again trying to give you a location marker but it's getting more difficult <laughs> to try and find one there's a cat, a wild cat look if I don't find it in a couple of minutes I'm going back oh there we are that's what I was looking for in the trees that is the site of Copley School. It's a, a brand new secondary school. It replaced the one that was on the other side of the road. And uh, this area around here is known as Copley. It's marked on all the maps. And that's, the, that's the reason why I came up all this incline to show you that. <laughs> Tried to see it from the trees, but I couldn't do it. So I'm going back now. So we're finally back on track. There's another path. It's like a little country park down here now. The railway line and all the paths that lead down to the canal and everything. So we're moving on. Ah, a bit muddy as well. Never mind. It's the nicest day. Amazing how nature's taken over really. Because this used to be two tracks wide. As you can see I'm about covering the area of one track. So I would imagine the other track was on that side and uh, we're down to one horsepower there. Oh, bridge. Wonderful. I love bridges. If I remember correctly from the map, uh, this bridge is the borderline between Lancashire and Yorkshire and I think it runs right over this bridge. I need to check it on the map again. But that borderline runs straight through down into uh, Springhead and Groton area. Always amazes me these structures like this. This is a view from the other side now, just come through it. So we're going to continue onwards and downwards we have a structure and I think I know what that structure is yes it's Micklehurst station this is another station house that's still surviving this was a good station not a passenger station I don't think it was ever a passenger station this one so this is trackside and I guess the goods would have been unloaded inside here. I'll go around the front because I know this has been quite sympathetically improved. I don't know where we pick the next part of the line up but let's look at this station first. As you can see, they've had a replica name nameplate station uh, totem made for it, and very similar to Friesland Station and Upper Mill Station, same type of construction, 
this looks like Eckrington Brick so it's a very sturdy property I'll get a better view of it from across the road you can see it in its entirety now and it does have all the characteristics of the LNWR see that's named station house as well again it's a replica but uh, in those days they wouldn't have had totems like that they would have been running in boards I assume that part at the end would have been the public lavatories but again it's a wonderful building and these buildings need preserving this is a view of Mikola station taken in 1911 this was four years after it closed as a station if you look here this little roof here was the entrance to the station house and this with a covered canopy over here this was the booking office now you'll notice there's a covered pathway going up here which takes you to the state to the actual station itself which was elevated and you can see that it was constructed out of wood and if you look at the main buildings as well those were also constructed out of wood the reason for that being that they were built on an embankment so it was less weight for the embankment so that's Micklehurst station back in 1911 and it's changed very little if you look if you look at that it's still very recognizable sustenance time I'm on healthy foods today apples and oranges and guess what just starting to rain typical starting to rain <laughs> 